everyone and mabuhay! Today, we will be doing this cute egg beret tutorial that I made and I hope this pattern helps you all. This is a very friendly beginner pattern and these are the terminologies that I will be typing out throughout the whole video so that you could take notes. These are also the materials that I will be using. So to start with our beret, what we'll be doing is a magic circle. So wrap your yarn around your two fingers like so, until you have an X. Take your crochet hook and insert it on the first strand and scoop the farthest strand into that first strand. Twist your hook like so until you have a loop. Now that you have that, slowly take out the loop from your fingers, yarn over, and slip stitch. Now you have a magic circle. It's supposed to be adjustable when you pull the shorter strand. Now for the first round, what we'll be doing is double crocheting 10 stitches into the loop. Now, if you don't know how to do a double crochet yet, please feel free to watch my tutorial on how to do a double crochet down in the description box below. So now that we've finished all the 10 double crochets, take the short strand and pull it to close the loop. And now you have your first round. For the second round, you're going to put two double crochets in one stitch. And that's what you call an increase. So let's repeat that action once more. First double crochet on the next stitch, and then your next double crochet will be on the same stitch. And that's how you do an increase, putting two stitches in one stitch. Now repeat the increase throughout the whole round until you get 20 stitches in total. For the third round, you're going to basically put one double crochet on the next stitch and then increase on the second stitch. You're going to repeat doing one double crochet and then a, an increase throughout the whole third round. And in the end, you're supposed to have 30 stitches in total. Row 4 Double crochet on the first stitch and then increase on the second stitch. For the third and fourth row, what you're gonna do is put one double crochet on each stitches. And then increasing after those two double crochets. And then repeat the pattern of two double crochets and then an increase nine times throughout the whole round. And by the end of your round, you're supposed to have one stitch left for a double crochet. At the end of the round, you're supposed to have 40 stitches in total. For round 5, put one double crochet 
on the first three stitches. And then on the fourth stitch, put an increase. Now repeat the pattern of putting three double crochets on the first three stitches and then an increase. By the end of this round, you're supposed to have 50 stitches in total. For round 6, in the first 2 stitches, put 1 double crochet each. And then increase on the 3rd stitch. After that, what you're gonna do is put four double crochets on the next four stitches and then increase after those four double crochets. Now repeat the pattern of four double crochets and an increase throughout the round until you have two stitches left. By the end of this round, you're supposed to have 60 stitches in total. After your last increase, you're supposed to have two stitches left and then put two double crochets in that, completing the round. Round 7. For round 7, Put one double crochet on the next five stitches and then increase on the sixth. Now repeat the pattern of 5 double crochets and increase. At the end of the round, you're supposed to have 7 stitches in total.
For round 8, put 1 double crochet on the next 3 stitches and then increase on the 4th stitch. After that, on the next 6 stitches, put 1 double crochet on each of the 6, and an increase after doing the 6 double crochets. Now repeat the 6 double crochets and then an increase 9 times until you have 3 stitches left before you end the round. Once you've done the 6 double crochets and then an increase, double crochet on the last 3 stitches before ending the round. By the end of that, you're supposed to have 80 stitches in total. Round 9, on the first 7 stitches, put 1 double crochet and an increase on the 8th stitch. Now repeat the pattern of 7 double crochets and then an increase 10 times. By the end of this row, you're supposed to have 90 stitches. For round 10, on the first 4 stitches, put 1 double crochet and then increase on the 5th. After that, on the next 8 stitches, put 1 double crochet each and then increase after the 8 double crochets. Now 
Now repeat the pattern of 8 double crochets and then an increase 9 times in the round. You're supposed to have 4 stitches left before you end the round. And once you have that, double crochet on those 4 stitches. By the end of this round, you're supposed to have 100 stitches. Once you are done with the 10 rounds, Measure the diameter of your circle. The diameter of your circle should be at least 9 or 9.5. For the next 4 rounds, you will be just double crocheting without an increase. For round 15, we are going to start decreasing. So just like in round 10, place 4 double crochet stitches on the first 4 stitches and then decrease on the 5th stitch. To decrease, insert your hook into the first loop of the stitch. And the first loop of the next stitch. When you yarn over, pull it through both front loops until you have three loops on your hook. And then finish off with a double crochet. Now after the four double crochet and the decrease, on the next eight stitches, you're going to put one double crochet and then decrease after those 8 stitches. Repeat the pattern of 8 double crochets and decrease 9 times throughout the whole row. And before you end the row, 
there are supposed to be four stitches left. Double crochet on those stitches. And by the end of this round, you're supposed to have 90 stitches left. For round 16, double crochet on the first 7 stitches and then decrease on the 8th. Now repeat the pattern of 7 double crochets and then decreasing a few more times. By the end of your row, you're supposed to have 80 stitches left. Before you fasten off, the next thing we're going to do is measure our beret. So flatten it properly and make sure all sides are equal. When you measure the opening that is left on the beret, it's supposed to be 7.5 to 7 inches in diameter. Feel free to increase or decrease just to meet the sizes. And once you flip your beret, you're supposed to have at least 9.5 to 10 inches in diameter. Now once you have the measurements right, do a slip stitch on the next stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Now when you wear the beret, it's supposed to be kind of loose on your head. Don't be afraid to try it on. Make sure that the looseness on your head is just enough to fit the band. For the ribbing, chain until you get 1 inch as the width. Please do take note that you will be skipping a chain. After that, skip a stitch and then single crochet on the remaining stitches. Once you do that, chain 1 and flip your work. Single crochet on the back loops of the first stitches before the ending stitch of your row. On the last stitch of your row, Put a single crochet on both loops instead of just the back loop. 
Now repeat that pattern on the next rows. Be sure to occasionally measure if the bad if the band fits the crown of your head properly. The ending measurements of my, of the band is 1 inch in width and 18.5 inches in length. Now sew the band together until you get a circle. Now align it with the opening of the beret and start sewing. Start sewing your band, insert your needle underneath the beret, and then insert it over the band. And then over the beret. and then over the band as well. Then pull the strand. For the yoke, do a magic circle and half double crochet on the circle. If you don't know how to do a half double crochet, I also have a tutorial which is linked in the description box below. For the second round, you will be increasing on each stitch of the row in half double crochet. In the end, having 12 stitches in total. For the third row, half double crochet on the first stitch and then increase on the second stitch. Then repeat the pattern of one half double crochet and then an increase throughout the whole round. By the end of the round, you're supposed to have 18 stitches. On row 4, on the first stitch, one half double crochet and then increase on the second stitch. And then after that, put two half double crochets on the next two stitches and then increase after those two stitches. Then repeat the pattern of two half double crochets and an increase throughout the whole round. Before you end your round, you're supposed to have one stitch left after your last increase. For round 5, half double crochet without an increase, and then fasten off, leaving a long tail for sewing. And once you've done that, place the yoke on the center of the beret and sew it on. And that's how you do the egg beret. I hope this tutorial helped. Please let me know in the comments if there are things to improve. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys made an awesome beret. Feel free to tag me and don't forget to always create with a smile. Bye guys and I will see you in the next one.